Now, CBS 13 Sports Friday. Hello and welcome into Sports Friday. The high school football regular season has wrapped up and now we're talking playoffs. Usually when we talk about the postseason, we begin on a more positive note, but we have to address the elephant in the room. Number six, Grant High welcomes number 11, Downey, tonight, but they do it without 10 of their players. Last Friday, the Pacers got into an all-out brawl against Whitney High. That's the video that you're seeing behind me. Those 10 players have been suspended for this game. Essentially, their entire offensive line will be absent as they welcome the Knights. Some JV players being called up to rise to the occasion, but Downey taking full advantage, already up 43-13 at the half and just getting warmed up. Bryce Gauker airs one out. It's a beauty to Anderson Grover. That was a beautiful pass, but an even better catch. But Grant, they answer right back with this beauty of their own. It's Paris Warren Jr. on the receiving end of this one. It's a six for him. And hey, Jordan Davis, remember her? The varsity kicker, the female varsity kicker, she even taught me how to kick one through the uprights. It was all smiles from Coach Albergini, but it's not the way that the Pacers wanted to go down tonight. They fall in a big one. Final score, 57 to 20 as Downey advances. Edison welcoming Gregory tonight. Winner takes on the defending champs in the Folsom Bulldogs. First quarter, no score. Vikings on play action pass out to Brian Stanton in the end zone. And Edison first on the board, 7-0. All love here. Later, Gregory answering on the crust. Baker Melendez with the keeper. He gets the push and crosses the planes. We got a tie ball game, but the Vikings, they would answer right back. We got Thunder, we got Lightning this time. It's Rayleigh's Brown as Thunder, ain't nothing but six. Edison up seven. The Vikings getting it done on both sides of the ball. Chuck out Arsha Taylor on the hunt. Knocks the ball loose. Nate Banks, Roberts gonna fall on it. He's credited for the turnover, and what's a turnover without the turnover chain, huh? Edison will advance and face Folsom next Friday. Turlock welcoming Consumnus Oaks first quarter. The Bulldogs wasting no time. Brock Paisley on the scramble. He zeroes in and finds a wide open Casey Carr. Turlock making it look way too easy. You can't leave guys open like that if you want to win. The Bulldogs go up 14 0. In the third, the Dogs still on the attack, this time on the one yard line. Handoff is to Lucas Curtis, and he's in for six. Now it's a three possession game. The Bulldogs proving to be way too much in this one. They shut out the Wolfpack 28 0. Heading back north, Sheldon welcoming Modesto. No score in the first, but Sheldon looking to change that. Tyrell Smith with the rock, high stepping, dodging defenders. His guys helping him stay up and gaining a few extra yards there. But the Panthers' defense tightening up here on fourth down. Huskies, they're going for it. It looks as though they may get the first down here, but the ball comes loose, and Modesto's going to recover it. Nothing comes of that big defensive play right there. We move to the second quarter now. The Huskies with the ball. If at first you don't succeed, what does Aaliyah say? Dust yourself off and try again. Smith straight up the gut, moves to the outside. He's in for six. Sheldon eliminates Modesto 27 to 14. Let's go to the scoreboards and check out some more scores elsewhere in the football area. Tracy eliminating the Fighting Zebra tonight, 49-28. Lincoln will definitely be back next season. They had a great year. That program definitely on the rise. Elk Grove going to Vacaville and upsetting the Bulldogs by just a touchdown. Those close games, those are hard to lose. Manteca, Manteca getting the big win tonight over Burbank High. They eliminated the Titans, 36-6. Cordova upsetting Golden Valley, taking down the Cougars 31 to 24. And in Division I, the Pittman Pride took down the Devils, the Blue Devils. That game was played last night in a Thursday matchup, and it was Pittman coming up on top 40 to 21. And I believe that you guys are the absolute best. Thank you for sending in all your social video by hashtagging CBS13FNF. A big thanks to Granite Bay for sending us that hype video. And how about St. Mary's cheer on the big stage and on the track, making the Rams feel special. Pom-poms or no pom-poms are out there. And a Friday night football game isn't a game without the band, the student section. 
You guys have been great throughout the regular season, but we still got playoffs to be played and more hashtags to be sending in. The band leading out Del Oro High here, the Golden Eagles, with some unfinished business of their own come next week. And I've saved the best for last. Central Catholic cheer. Go ahead. That captain in the middle, she's everything. She knows how to hype up their team. She's doing it well. And that is going to do it for our high school football show. But I do want to show some love to the Kings really quickly.